I'm Gene Goldman, and here's a look at the week ahead for the week of February 20th. Last week, the U.S. stocks were down for another week on two main reasons. Number one, higher than expected inflation readings. And number two, speeches from Fed officials that suggested that interest rates may need to be higher than anticipated. You see here, for example, market expectations for the Fed funds rate, which is their main interest rate, have surged dramatically over the past two weeks. The markets are worried about higher rates, creating higher borrowing costs, impacting the overall economy. So turning to this week, one report we're watching very carefully is the Fed's FOMC meeting minutes. As a reminder, after each Fed meeting, the Fed releases a very carefully scripted statement. Three weeks after that meeting, the meeting minutes are released, and this goes over what was said behind closed doors. So this Wednesday, we are going to learn a ton of information in terms of what took place at the last Fed meeting on January 31st. Why do we care? Three main reasons why we care about the Fed meeting minutes. Number one, after the last Fed meeting, Jay Powell, the head of Fed, had a very confusing press conference, lots of mixed messages. For example, he said that the Fed, Fed funds rate, interest rates are not yet restrictive and more rate hikes are appropriate. But then he said the disinflationary process has begun, kind of like the opposite effect. He also suggested that the Fed is focusing on one single data point, core services excluding housing inflation. It's a very dangerous game to focus on one single data point. The Fed instead should be looking at all the data points. Second of all, the data since the last Fed meeting has changed dramatically. For example, we saw a very strong payroll report. So was there a discussion at the Fed meeting in terms of how stronger economic data will play into their rate plans on a go-forward basis? And then third of all, last week we learned that non-voters James Bullard and Loretta Mester supported raising rates by half a percent, not one quarter of one percent as the Fed did. Question is, in the meeting minutes, we'll learn did others support a higher rate hike? And was there any discussion in terms of overall peak rates, what the maximum will be for overall Fed funds rates? So the overall takeaway is that we continue to point to two market drivers to drive market direction. Number one, corporate earnings, where are they going? Number two, probably just as important, if not more, is Fed policy. As you see here, the Fed has dramatically raised rates since March of last year. For months, the markets did not believe the Fed in terms of how high they will further raise rates. This changed last week. We need to get more clues in terms of um, where the markets expect further rate expectations, and we will get more clues with the meeting minutes this week. Thanks for listening. For more information, please follow us on Twitter at Satara IM. See you next week, and thank you. <laughs>